Yes. Let's move into the next one. Go ahead. The Detroit Lions. Went 3-12-1 last year, and they fell apart after they lost Matt Stafford. It was just uh, brutal. Matt Patricia going into his third season. This is kind of a critical year for him. Uh, six and a half is the win total. To go over is minus 160. To go under is plus 130. And I think basically that is going to hinge on whether or not Matt Stafford stays healthy this season. All accounts say that he should stay healthy. You know, he got the back problem fixed last year, sat out for a long time. He healed up. I think he's going to be okay. Uh, to win the division, they are plus 450. They got better odds to win the division at two games less uh, in their win total than the Bears do. So I, I don't understand that kind of math. I don't make odds. I just pick them. That, I, that doesn't make any sense to me. We think they're going to be two games worse. Yeah, they got a better shot at winning the division, though. I mean, they, like, they might. If Matt Stafford stays healthy all season, like that six yeah, and a half you is got, just. That, you got to take that into effect of the win-loss record, too, then, right? I, I would think so. I would think so. Um, let's dive and do some of the numbers here. Offensive yards per play, they were number 18 in the league last year at 5.4. It's kind of impressive. Uh, Mark said, when are you guys coming to Vegas? Hey, man, as soon as they start lifting, like, travel ban crap and whatever else, like, I think we can get there right now. When it's now, fun but to actually go do something. Yeah, when it's actually I, fun I to do it. I can't go and be restricted. It, I don't get enough time off, and, and it costs too much. I what, want to and, go I mean, and let loose. Like, give me a break. They, they're not even letting people into, uh, into the Raiders games right now. I mean, come on. Yeah, no, like I'm not going until I can go into that stadium. That's one thing. But also, I don't go to Vegas in the summertime either. I, like, October yeah. is the earliest I would go, and I usually, April, the latest I'll go. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, Too it's damn hot. 120 degrees on that asphalt out there. It's ridiculous. I am fat. Uh, defense, I do <laughs> Defensive yards per play, number 25 in the league last year, 5.9 yards per play. Uh, turnover margin, number 24. That was not good, right? Oh, Driscoll and that bunch uh, didn't, didn't do well. It gave up uh, 0.3 turnovers per game last year. Um, and so, again, the question is, can Stafford stay healthy? I mean, they looked good with him early last year. Uh, they bring in uh, – I should have written the guys – DeAndre Swift. They bring in Swift. Uh, on Johnson had issues with staying healthy, of course. So, you bring in a guy that you hope can stay healthy. Uh, Swift, pretty good at catching the football out of the backfield. That's, you know, a step in the right direction. They, they got – you know, Galladay, they got, you know, some weapons on that offense. Uh, their question really is is defense. I mean, they need all the help that they can get on defense. Uh, they brought in free agent linebacker Jamie Collins from New uh, New England, and they brought in uh, Desmond Trufant. They need uh, they need Jeff Okuda to be good. I mean, they, they bring him in, and, I mean, they got to have – they got to have those guys step up. I mean, they, they just – they went out, they got some free agents, they got some draft picks and whatnot. But it, it hinges on whether or not this defense is going to be okay. And I ain't sold yet. You know, I want them to be good. I, want, I like Matt Patricia, and I like Matt Stafford. And I want them to be good. Uh, but I've got them going under that 6.5, man. I got them at 6-10. and 10. You know, there, there's a lot of hype on this team that, oh, this might be the year that they can win the division. They can go from, you know, last to first and, and all that because somebody always does. I mean, I'm just going to have to see it before before I will go putting my money on that. Uh, I'm going to go under the 6.5. I've got 6-10 and 10 on this. I got them 8-8. Eight and eight. I think they're going to be yep. improved. I don't know that they're going to be great. I think a lot of people are going to lose a lot of first coach fired bets. I do think that this guy is on the hottest of hot seats out of everybody. But uh, I don't think it's going to be him because I think they're going to win too many games. I think this team is good, and I think if Stafford stays healthy, they're going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't think that – I think that's their floor. I think that's where they're going to end up being. Um, they've just brought in too many new weapons. I'm not a big Swift fan. I wish that there's a, a hundred other running backs I would have gotten over him. Oh, agree. But, agree. But, it, you know, they went the route they wanted to go. Let's see if it works. I, I am a huge Kennedy Holiday fan. Uh, I, I think we are going to see uh, TJ Hawkinson, uh, the big tight end, kind of take strides into to come into his own. I, I picked Stafford as my comeback player of the year. Okay. I, I think this guy is going to, to win that, that award. I think he's going to stay healthy. I think he's going to put up big numbers. And I think they're going to be a lot better. That defense is going to be better because they're going to play less defense. And that's the most important factor for being a good defense. Yeah. Now, you're, you're dead on about that. Um, Mark said it was 100 in Vegas today. He said, uh, he said he lives like five minutes from the new Raiders place and that it is really cool when it's lit up at night. Um, DFS said first coach fired Adam Gase. So, and we, I, so, ooh, we, <laughs> we can have that conversation whenever you'd like. I actually don't think it's Gase because I think the new GM in 
Gase or BFF, and so I I got a different one. Uh, DFS said totally off topic, but tell me that Sam Darnold doesn't look like a Lego policeman. <laughs> I can believe that. I can hundred percent believe that. Um, he said I'm going to miss betting against David Blau. Yeah, no, that's that's the truth. Well, yeah, that was and just he, free money. And he brought up that uh, that Detroit lost Slay to Philly, but it's going to be tough on defense. Yeah, they. They lost Slay because they didn't want to pay him, and, and that's why they brought in Okuda and, and Trufant and all that. So that's right. You know, I, I think um, I think it's going to be tough. Like I, we we thought that Patricia was going to bring kind of that New England style to here's, Detroit. Here's, here's the problem. No, he did, but he did. He this did. Is the issue with these guys, they all come into a new job and they want to try to be Bill instead of be themselves. Yes. I think Brian Flores is doing good, seemingly better than anybody else who's ever left Bill's program before after one year of a team trying to tank. And he was like, nope, I'm winning games. Because he's trying to be himself and not Bill. You yeah. can't be Bill. You're not him. That guy is weird, quirky, savant-like. Do, you, can't, you can't be that. And if you try faking that, these NFL dudes see right. They're grown-ups. They're adults. Yeah. They can they tell when they're being bullshit, man. Then you just can't do that. No, you're, uh, you're dead on. 